morning. Today we're going to draw a panther chameleon. Um, whenever I want to draw something that I'm not making up, uh, that isn't coming from my imagination, something that exists in reality, in the real world, I always try to start with something that I can see. I want to observe it first. I want to look at the details. I want to look at how it's put together or um, what colors that it has. And then, after I've observed it, uh, then I can bring some creativity into it. And we're going to do that. But first, we're going to start with some, some basic uh, strategies for observation. Now, I wanted to draw a chameleon. And I don't actually have a chameleon at my house, although my kids would love to have a chameleon. Uh, so I printed a picture uh, here up off of the internet. It's just a something I found on, I guess, a pet store website. And I'm just borrowing it um, to look at while I learn about chameleons. Now, the first thing that I do when I start a drawing, it doesn't matter what it is, is I think about the overall composition. How the drawing or the painting is going to look all together. And so in this case... I don't have a very big page that I'm working on, and I want there to be room for the background. So the first thing I decide is how big I'm going to make my chameleon. So I make a little mark on the left side and a little mark on the right side, and that is going to be about the size of the chameleon that I'm going to draw. This way I don't go too, too small and make it really little here, and I don't go too, too big that I don't have room for a background. The second thing I do after I've decided how big it's going to be is that I look at the overall shape. Now, chameleons have kind of a fun shape. They sort of look, if you turn them like this, it sort of looks like a comma, like that you would see at the end of a sentence. If we look at them like this and only see the top part, it sort of looks like a little tiny football. So either way, we're looking at kind of an oval shape, and that's what I'm going to start with. Now, this part right here, where the tail comes, that's going to be the end here. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to go up, 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 and round over, just like I would if I were just going to make a very smooth oval. Now you'll notice that I don't try to do it all in one line like that. I make lots of little lines so that as I make mistakes, I can come back and erase them. And I don't draw very heavy. I try to keep it light. So that's the top part. The top part of this. Just the basic shape of it. I'm not worried about details yet. Then I'm going to do the same kind of coming on the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go all the way to this end so that I have a shape of an oval or a football that's flat or an almond. Um, or an eye, maybe. It could, it could be a number of things at this point. But this is the basic shape of the body of the chameleon, and so that's what we're looking to get. But now what makes the chameleons different than, say, an eye or uh, an almond or a football that's flat is that it has a tail. So the tail attaches right at the back of our oval. So now I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to start this a little bit before... I come to my first line and I'm going to come down on a slant because I see that there's a slant or a diagonal in the tail here and I'm going to follow that down just a little bit and then I'm going to look at the next shape that I see and what's that? What shape is this right here? Here we have a circle and so I'm just going to go around in a circle and I'm not going to come not quite all the way to the bottom of the chameleon, but almost there. So I'm going to make a little mark right there because that's about where I want to stop my circle. And I'm going to make my circle. And this is going to become the chameleon's tail very shortly here. And again, it does. It sort of looks like um, an upside down comma or... But I'm not going to put all the details in here just quite yet. I'm going to leave it at about here. And then I'm going to finish my other diagonal that goes up here and connect it up to the body. So now I have the body of the chameleon and I have the basic shape of the chameleon's tail. The next thing I want to do is 
the head is a little bit separate from the body, right? Because the head has to move. It's not all one shape that doesn't move. So I'm going to differentiate, I'm going to make it different, that shape. So here I have the chameleon's nose, and then I'm going to look back and see about how big that that head should be. Now, it doesn't go all the way to the middle, right? But it's not really, really close to the front either. It's maybe about a third of the body, if we were to kind of break it into halves or into thirds. So I'm going to put a little note here, just a little mark here and here. And that's where I'm going to create my head from. So if you notice that if this is where the head starts, the oval actually has to come short at that point, and then it goes up again. So I'm going to create that line that makes it go in. Then this part comes up. There's almost like a little crest. And about halfway between that, that top crest and the nose, it dips down again. So I'm going to make a little mark so that I remember where I'm going. Then I'm going to curve that down like this. Then I'm going to pick it up again and I'm going to curve it back out to make this. So now I've got the basic contour of the top of the chameleon. So I'm going to make some erasing now. I'm going to erase that first note. I'm going to erase some of these lines around it. And I'm going to bring that down to one line. And I'm going to erase that bottom part right there. And there we go. Now we have a chameleon that's starting to look a little bit more chameleon-like. Now, the bottom of the chameleon's head comes down and around. And so I'm going to just follow my curve that I already have. But it flattens out, if you'll notice, right here. And so right at about midway from this crest, if we go, looked up and down on it, it flattens out. And so I'm going to do the same because I'm going to follow what I see so that I can make it as accurate as I can to the anatomy of it. And then it stops because what's in the way? Well, that's the chameleon's leg. So now the chameleon's leg, I'm going to look at that. And it has kind of like our arms. It has an upper portion and a lower portion and a little hand right here, the, this foreleg. So I'm going to make that same um, kind of V shape. It's like a, a V on the side right there. Going across here, then to one side, and then diagonal down to here. And then give it some volume by making the, uh, the same thing on each side. Now, I'm just going to leave it just like that for just a minute, and I'm going to finish things up on the rest of the contour here. So, I'm going to bring a, a, up the belly just a little bit more and go back to near the tail. And what do we have here? We have the other leg. Now, this is pretty cool because it actually looks like the leg wraps around this. It goes underneath the branch. And so we, we're going to draw that as well. But again, what do we have? We have a shape, right? We have another triangle shape. This time, the point goes towards the front instead of towards the back. So we're going to draw that triangle shape. We're going to start it a little bit above the tail. And I'm going to pay attention to the angle that it's at. One, two, there we go. And I'm going to pay attention to the angle that this is at. Down here. And then I'm going to give it the volume or the width. Here. And now it kind of does look like a leg, doesn't it? Like there's the knee, and that's the thigh, and that's the calf. And I'm just going to leave it right like this for the sec for right now, because then we're going to draw the branch. We're going to draw the branch in. Now the branch goes up and under and over, and I'm going to start it right here, because this is where we're working. And all you see is the bottom part of it right there. So I'm just going to draw that part. And here I'm going to draw the bottom of this well, where the chameleon's leg goes around and then it follows down and comes up. Now you'll notice that the, le the front leg, the foreleg, comes down underneath the branch here. So I want to keep that going underneath here. So I don't want to make it too, too wide or too small. 
We want to pay attention to the negative shapes, the spaces in between things. And we're going to bring that branch back up here and bring it up. It goes up, follows the, the contour here, and then it goes down again. And that's where it disappears off of our, off of our photograph. And then I need to bring that bottom part up and over. Now remember, an artist's best tool in drawing is the eraser. Don't be worried if you make mistakes. You're just going to go ahead and erase them and work with them again. Now, this part of the, the chameleon's foreleg is a little interesting. It looks like the hand shaped kind of like this, doesn't it? So we're just gonna go ahead and follow what we see. We always want to, when we're drawing observationally, we want to focus on what we see. And that looks kind of like a little mitten. And so we're gonna just gonna go ahead and draw it exactly as we see it. And we're not going to worry too much about, um, about it. Behind there, we see just a little portion of the other foreleg. And all it is, is this tiny, tiny shape. And again, we are not going to draw out things that we can't see. We're going to focus on what we can see, which is just this little L shape right here. And we're going to look at the negative space and make sure that we feel pretty comfortable about that. And we're going to do the same thing with the back legs. All we see is this little kind of a ovally shape that's between, it goes over the branch and under the belly. So we're going to make it over the branch and under the belly. And we're not going to worry about trying to make it look like feet. And under it, we see something, maybe little toes that are gripping it. But all we see is that little shape right here. And so we're just going to leave it at exactly what we see. We're not going to try to make up feet or anything like that or toes because we know that they're there. But sometimes when we know something is there, I'm going to go ahead and round that edge there. Sometimes when we know something is there, we want to draw it. But if we don't see it, then it's not the right time to draw it. It's not in the right spot. So now I'm going to round a couple things out because the chameleon is a round little creature. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to finish up the tail. Going around, around, around in this beautiful, fun spiral. Spirals are great fun to draw. There we go. Now it's looking especially chameleon-like. But what are we missing? Well, we're missing the edge of the branch going off this way. And what are we missing on the chameleon? How about eyes? He needs eyes. These big round things right here, those are his crazy eyes. So we're going to draw a nice big round circle right at the top of the head. We're just going to make it as round as we can. And it has a little opening for the eye right here. And so we're going to draw the little pupil right there. Now I see kind of a little pointy nose here. So we're going to make that a little pointier. And then right here, what's this? This is the mouth. Now it's not a straight, straight line across, but it's also not a really, really strong curve. So we want to make it a little bit of a light curve around like this and we're going to make sure that it looks like the chin underneath it by adding a little this shape right here which would be the jaw we're going to put that in and then you'll see how this part comes up and over here so we're going to make that shape as well now now we have a pretty good chameleon at this point it's looking pretty good um, and now we get to be a little bit more creative with it so we're going to make lines to make the the, the different stripes on the chameleon and because every chameleon is different these do not have to all be the same they don't have to look just like it we want it to be to get the chameleon's anatomy as well as we could, but we don't have to worry too much about things like the stripes. Now, can I, can I please help? Can, just a minute. 
So I'm going to start with these big stripes here. Now there's one part of the chameleon that seems to stick out and is catching the light here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw that part out just in a shape so that then when I go down and I can go around it, it looks like I'm going around. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw these pretty close to what I see, um, but you don't have to. You can make these any way, but if you want them to look like chameleon ones, what you need to do, the only thing you need to be careful of is that the, the stripes follow the basic shape of the form. You don't want to just sort of go across like this making stripes, but to follow the curves of the body. And sometimes there's looks like there's some little dots and things, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of those in too. I'm making these these ones, I want to make them curved so that they're going to go around the tail, make the tail look nice and round, and not like it's flat. all the way in, all the way around my, my little curly there. And then up front, I'm gonna add in a few stripes to the top here. I'm also going to bring in some of the pigment changes and these little dots that I see where the texture of the skin um, of, the, of the chameleon is. So I wanna bring those in. And I'm also going to make some little ridges along the top because I see little ridges all along there going around the top going around the top and then they're going to kind of disappear as they come back down to the tail they're not going to be so strong and a few more stripes kind of makes them look a little bit dinosaur-y with that ridge line up there And around the legs. Okay, now I feel like our drawing is really, really good. So we're just going to leave it at this. Um, for a minute and then we're going to go back over it uh, in the next video with some marker and we're going to make a background. For the background, I think I'm just going to make up some leaves. Um, like it's a branch that's sort of growing out over some, some large leaves and so I'm going to make these nice shapes, nice leaf shapes behind and I'm going to fill this whole I come out like that. There we go. I think I'll make some of them like they come over on top of each other and around and behind.
Okay, <clears throat> I feel like that's probably enough for the background.